Hello, it's another Practice Strokes lesson, and I'm excited to share with you one of everybody's favorite one stroke projects is doing a rosebud. And this is just a really quick little rosebud. I'm on a gray art paper, and it's got some texture, so I, I make sure I use some medium with this. And I want you to see that it's just a really quick little heart. And so I like to share this with you because this is um, a simple stroke that was some floating medium. Remember floating medium? That's the fluff that's in paint with no pigment. We're going to use my, my dark green one stroke brushes. I'm going to use a 12, all right, because that's what I used in this heart. And so let me show you a couple little things here. <laughs> I keep forgetting colors. All right, I need burnt umber. Let's put a little bit of burnt umber out. So it is multi-surface paint and it's got a sealer in it. So you can paper, wood, metal, ceramic, all kinds of surfaces. The floating medium, magenta, wicker white, burnt umber, citrus green, sap green. All right. Now I like you to take a piece of chalk and draw whatever shape you want. And I'm going for the heart because heart's very popular and a quick little card that you can make. So I'm making inky. So if you've watched my liner work, we're going to take water and I'm going to lay it down and I'm making circles. And every time I go around, I touch the burnt umber. I roll this. That's a lot of inky for me. I can streak through the white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this around here, but it's all mostly white. So I'm just going to keep picking up my brown. All right. And we're going to just wind it in between here. And it does. I just want you to know that I want it to be full enough. And I'm going to lay it down every once in a while. Full enough so it, it looks like a really good wreath back there. Let's see how fast this is. So you're just dragging it behind you. All right. And the chalk just helps me. See, I come in here with a little bit of white. The chalk just helps me get the shape. And then I don't have to think about it anymore. All right. Now, what most people tend to do is they do these little single strokes. So they will do these short little strokes. And we do not want that. We wanted a grapevine. Like when we used to make grapevines, we would take a five gallon bucket and wrap the grapevine around. And so what happens is they have all these long vines and then they have little tendrils off of those okay so you can do that and we keep wrapping the tendrils back around the wreath the bucket to make it stay together so just to let you see the other thing that people tend to do is they go back and forth like this it looks way better if you take it and you drag it along and not do the same pattern. Do you see what I'm saying? Watch that over again when you get a chance of what is a do and a don't, all right? Because it makes a difference in what it looks like when we're all done. Now this gets covered, but I want you to see that I have used a grapevine wreath like this, either scruffy brushed on or with a chisel edge of a flat brush or this quick little wreath. Hi, are you having fun during this video? I have something to remind you of. Floating medium is what I use instead of water. So get your floating medium. It will make your painting better, I promise. It makes it feel like butter when you're stroking. Now see, I got some larger, heavier branches sometimes. Some spots drop and then I can just I don't need to worry about it. I have a toothbrush or a fan brush in here where I can flick more spots around. I'm going to want to do just little accents that you can do to add to your piece one day, just as a little practice stroke for you. All right, so let's come over here and let's pick up with our 12. We wet it, we dried it off on a paper towel, and now we're picking up white. We're all magenta and one fourth white. See, I just want white on the outside edge. 
Okay. Now this rosebud, we're going to do one here. We're going to touch, go up and over. I'm going to do one here, two lines, touch up and over, and then down here, one, two, touch, push down, and coming up and over. Now, so what makes this rose so easy, this rosebud, is if you see there's a second row and a third row. So I'm going to touch this line and that line again, and I'm going to stroke a U. All right, so um, the what a lot of people do is go straight across, and I want you to see that I'm going to come right here, and we want to scoot down like a U, not straight across. So what we want to end up with, if you could see this, is you want to see the complete circle of white. All right. So look right here, up and over, back to here. Now you can see the, you can see, excuse me, you can see the shading inside, and you can see the white makes a whole circle. So those are the little things for you to look for as you're stroking this. Now I can even do a short one like that, one, two, three, a little short one here, which gives you the rosebud layers. All right, so we just do another one and another one. All right, there we go. So the, I'm using a 12 for that. Now I'm gonna go down. Remember the two lines help you a lot. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna pick up this eight. Is this an eight? Yes. All right. And so this one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up two colors. I'm gonna have the sap green over here and come stroke next to the citrus green. Okay. Now I can use the medium. I can dip in the medium because I'm on dry paper. And this is a gray tone paper that's got texture. So you really need medium. So I'm gonna push down and stand up to a point. Now on these practice strokes, we did some little slider leaves, push, lift. All right, so I'm gonna keep coming over, dip and pick up light green. All right, so I wanna put some right up on the rosebud. I keep getting citrus off my plate. Another one. I'm going, every time I move away, I'm going to my plate to pick up more paint. All right. And then I put a couple little ones here. So now what I'm doing, I grabbed a teeny bit of white and I'm working that in because now what I want to do is just add a few little guys here. All right. Isn't that kind of pretty? Now you can do a string ribbon. We'll do that. I think I showed y'all with the liner work before. And I can just put a few little, see how that white on the citrus green made it pop better? All right, I think that's enough. On this one, I went around more, but look, I got lopsided there. I just wanna show you how to fix that. I waited to show you, cause I said, look at that. I can come out here and make it fuller there, but then I have all that gap in here. So it's really easy. All I do is put another leaf in here and then it kind of takes away from that. Okay, so last thing we're gonna do is I did a few curly cues, but let's take, let's paint my brush and let's put a few little dots with the handle of the brush, they're dip dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The so little dots, gotta be fresh, wet paint. And we're going to do a few little more dots over here. And wouldn't this be a cute little greeting card? And if you do red roses, you could make this a little Christmas card. I do a lot of birthday cards for five years. I, make, I have 29 grandbabies and all the family that I made greeting cards for everybody. Everything for five years. It was my goal. All right. Now I can make an inky number two script liner. Go look at my liner practice strokes so that you can learn how to use the liner and load the liner better. And I just, because this is the grapevine, it has trend tendrils. All right. So there we go. And then I have wreath of the month on Donna Dewberry. 
with Plaid, the paint company, and I did a wreath every month during the year, and they're free lessons on YouTube, so you got to check them out. So there you go. So I also can come in with a few little green ones. I did put a couple little green guys in here. But isn't that fun? So till next week, practice, 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 and go to Donna Dewberry's official one-stroke group because a lot of people copy my group. So you want to say official and come join us over there. We will help you grow with your painting. All right, isn't that fun? I'll see you next time.